20 Best Things to Do in Argentina One, experience the nightlife in Palermo. As the sun goes down, Buenos Aires becomes fully awake, and no place more so than in the Palermo region. Snatch a mixed drink or specialty lager from one of the mini bars and get comfortable to watch the buzzing about, as travelers and local people fill the roads, prepared for a great time frame. 2. Explore the vibrant food scene. Anything that your taste and anything you're eating regimen, Argentina is a jungle gym for foodies. Experience a conventional Argentine asado, grill, or get a brain-blowingly delicious empanada from La Carbonera in Buenos Aires. 3. Search for hidden gems in San Telmo. Delightful San Telmo is the most established area in Buenos Aires. It's brimming with workmanship and specialists and is known for its cobblestone roads and classical business sectors. Shop until your feet hurt and afterward end up at the San Telmo Market, a rambling exhibit of charming, free food slows down. 4. Stamp. Clap. Sing and shout along with the locals at a football match. Regardless of whether you're a games lover, the environment at a football match in the boat the youngster's home, La Bonbonera, is electric. Ensure you are wearing the host group tones, then join the enthusiastic fans cheering their group, as the sun sets over the delightful old arena. 5. Lose yourself in the world's most beautiful bookstore. Prepared briefly of calm? Track down your direction to Recoleta and enter the El Adonio Thousand Unbelievable, a bookshop incorporated into an old theater. Buenos Aires has a bigger number of bookshops per individual than some other city on the planet, however this one is especially exceptional. 6. Get your skates on and explore Buenos Aires parks. Walking around one of Buenos Aires' numerous wonderful parks, you'd be pardoned for failing to remember you were in a capital city. Whether it's the Rosal Rose Gardens or the rambling Bosques de Palermo, this city is gushing out done with green space. To investigate them like local people, get a couple of roller skates and whip along the impeccably kept up with pathways, wind in your hair. 7. Be lost for words at the site of Iguazu Falls. Comprised of north of 275 falls, there's an explanation Iguazu draws such countless guests. In the event that you're ready to embrace the groups, you'll be compensated with one of the most stunning sights on the planet. The size of the falls is difficult to depict until you've seen it. Climb the unrivaled and subpar trails for alternate points of view, and end up at the renowned demon's throat for a genuine feeling of nature's power. 8. Then hop over the border to Brazil to get up close and personal. Whenever you've had your fill of investigating the Argentinian side, cross the scaffold and after a speedy visit to customs, you'll end up in Brazil, at the core of the falls, wrapped on all sides by marvelous perspectives. From here you can likewise hop in a boat and voyage right under the cascades, ensure you pack your swimmers. 9. Have the happiest happy hour in Mendoza. Somewhere close to the forcing, snow-covered pinnacles of the Andes and the energetic, current Buenos Aires, sits Mendoza. Base yourself close to Avenida Aristides Villanueva so that you're minutes from the good times. With mini bars gushing out over onto the road, probably the best red wine on the planet and cafes to suit any post-party time desires, doubtlessly there could be no greater spot for a sundowner. 10. Get wonderfully lost on a self-guided cycling tour. While you're in Mendoza, don't pass up the popular independent cycling visit through the numerous well-known wineries. 
for an explorer accommodating energy, with dilapidated bicycles and unlimited mile back in the event that you track down your direction back to the bicycle stop, attempt my poo bicycles. A comparable outing in Luhan de Koyo with Bacchus bicycles will give you significantly more fantastic grape plantations and very good quality bodegas in which to stop, taste wine and offer a cheddar board for lunch. 11. Experience True Luxury in the UCO Valley To see the absolute best of the wine locales, visit the UCO Valley. Casa de Uceo is an imaginative shop winery and inn, where you can hot tub in the mountains and pony ride through the plants. A night's visit isn't modest, yet why not visit for lunch and a custom wine sampling with the occupant winemaker. 12. Hike in the shadow of Mount Aconcagua, South America's highest and grandest peak. In the event that wine isn't your thing, it isn't all Mendoza brings to the table. Settled in the lower regions of the Andes, the district likewise has the absolute best climbing on the planet. Summiting close by Mount Aconcagua, the biggest mountain on the planet beyond Asia, may be a stretch for the greater part of us, however the taking off, snow-covered tops give traveling seas that are completely staggering. 13. Explore the Argentine Way, on horseback. Get a genuine gaucho experience by looking into a homestay on a farm and aiding care for the ponies. Be compensated with an elating ride through gorgeous Argentinian scenes. Attempt the region of Cordoba for legitimate estancias, people music and family flows. 14. Take a cable car over the mountains in San Carlos de Bariloche. Somewhere down in the core of Argentina is their lake area, loaded up with wonderful climbs and turquoise water. For marvelous perspectives and churning mountain ridge bars, indeed, truly, move on board one of Bariloche's trolleys and prepare to be wowed. 15. Sea views like no other from Cerro Lao Lao. For the best perspectives in Bariloche, or perhaps the world, Take the short however steep climb up Cerro Lao. Take a beverage and tidbit. You're never going to need to leave. 16. Indulge your sweet tooth in San Carlos de Bariloche. As well as the perspectives, Bariloche is prestigious for its chocolate and frozen yogurt, and with flavors going from veggie lover pineapple and basil to an eye-wateringly rich chocolate ganache, it's totally worth remembering for the agenda. Mamushka, specifically, will bait you in for a third and fourth scoop. 17. Drink mold wine in the middle of nowhere. Whether you fly or drive, the excursion into the core of Patagonia is an involvement with itself, and when you show up, you'll need to rest. There could be no more excellent spot than La Venaria, a comfortable little bar serving specialty brew, pondered wine and extraordinary espresso, concealed in the small mountain town of El Shelton, a permanent place to stay for travelers. 18. Pull on your hiking boots and set off in search of Mount Fitzroy. The mountains are calling. Dust off your climbing boots and set off on the Sendero Fitzroy looking for Mount Fitzroy. It's a powerful 30 km full circle, with a horrifying climb toward the end, yet it merits each glute-consuming step. On the off chance that the stunning perspectives look recognizable, this is on the grounds that well-known Fitzroy is the mountain range highlighted in Patagonia's logo. At the point when you return to El Shelton, reward yourself with a nibble from Basic, a charming free shop offering treats for every dietary prerequisite under the sun. 19. Cruise on turquoise glacier water and clamber on one of the world's only advancing glaciers. The Perito Moreno glacial mass isn't just gorgeous, it's a warrior, notwithstanding environmental change making most glacial masses contract, Perito Moreno is progressing, by very nearly 2 meters per day. 
see the development for you and watch from the survey stage as the shards break away, or tie on certain crampons and feel the ice mash underneath your feet as you climb up and onto the ice sheet itself. Visits go from adjacent town El Calafate. 20. Visit the end of the world in Ushuaia. Where preferable to end your excursion over at the world's most southern city, Ushuaia. Feel practically in contacting distance of Antarctica as you taste the hot cocoa in post for the numerous penguin and seal settlements that make the encompassing islands their home. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.